what does the Bible say about keeping boundaries? Should we be kissing? Should we be smooching? The most popular questions I get all the time is can two Christians that are not married kiss each other? Very good and very bad question at the same time. Very good question because I've been itching to address this. Very bad because I'm surprised that Christians even think like this. So I'm wondering if we're doing a great job in terms of discipleship. What you first need to understand is what is the purpose of kissing? Many people think kissing is just, oh, a show of love. And No, no. Kissing is actually one of the things that differentiates us from animals. Kissing is part of the sexual act. This is why the only time kissing is not done is when somebody is being raped. In a normal, marital, enjoyable, sexual encounter, you will find out that there's holding of hands, there's petting, there's cuddling, there's smooshing, there's kissing before intercourse. Sex is not only intercourse, there is also outer course. There is outer course and intercourse. So to just think that I can participate in part of what sex is as a single person, it's even your, your thinking needs to be sanctified. Your thinking needs to be purified. Your thinking needs to be brought before the Lord. Two Christians that are not married should not be kissing. For sure should not be kissing. All right? Very, very, very important. Because you are not yet married. What makes any sexual activity legit or legal or permitted is marriage. Any activity. So it's like saying, can two Christians not marry smoosh? Can somebody that's not married, can you, can you touch a woman or a man in their genitals? When you are married, the property is yours. You can do as you will with each other. But before marriage is not yet yours, sometimes marriage is, a wedding is cancelled on the altar. Sometimes a wedding is cancelled the night before. Sometimes a wedding is cancelled a week before. But you have kissed somebody's wife. Because you can't wait. The only reason why you want to kiss now is that you can't wait. There's no other big... Okay, why do you want to kiss? Why? You want to express love. Use words and express love. You just want to kiss because you are in lust. You want to quench a sexual desire that kissing cannot quench. Because kissing is meant to arouse and not to satisfy. All right? Your body is the temple of God. I always ask people, can a married person kiss someone they are not married to? If the answer is no, then you can't kiss someone you two are not married to. What's the difference? Two married, married Christians can kiss in church. In fact, on your wedding day, you are forced to kiss in church because you are married. It's legit. Now they say, you may now kiss the bride. Everybody brings that camera, bring that phone, bring everybody. Everybody wants to be, they say, kiss the bride. Can two of you now asking this question that are single, can you kiss in your church this Sunday, this Sunday, this one, go to your church now, stand on the altar on the gate of the church and start kissing? The beating, if it's an African church, they will beat the demon out of you. Of course you cannot kiss. You, you, this kissing you're asking me is hidden. It's sin. That's why you want her. I can kiss my wife in church. I kiss my wife in church. There are times we teach on marriage and we do renewal vows or things like that. Or we are playing a game by my couples. I kiss my wife in church. Can you kiss the other girl or that boy in church? You know it's a sin. That's why somewhere in your heart, in your heart of hearts, you know the answer to this question. But sin and trends and all this pressure, social media and, your, and lust is trying to force you. Any, any part of sexual intercourse or any part of sex is holy. Every part of it. That's what the Bible says, your body is the temple of God, and we are called to possess our body, our vessels, in sanctification. All right, so I hope this helps you, please. Um, I actually watched a video where a lady answered this question and said, there's no way in the Bible that they say you can't kiss before marriage. I mean, yeah, that single people can't kiss. It's because, you see, many people have never been well taught the word of God. When the Bible says flee fornication, or don't fornicate. The word fornicate is not sexual intercourse. The word fornicate is pornea. It's talking about any form of illegitimate sexual activity. Any form. That's any form of sex outside of marriage. That's what they are referring to. It's not just intercourse. Any form of sex or sexual activity, which involves kissing, petting, touching, texting, video sex, everything, anything. Pornography. They are all part of Ponia, which is the word fornication. So to say there's no way in the Bible says you not kiss, that means you don't even understand the Bible. You are waiting for God to come and write every single detail that don't touch on the ear, don't lick. Is there any scripture that says don't lick a girl's ear? <laughs> it 
tourism, you can lick here. Is that scripture that says you can't smoke weed? There's no scripture that says those things. So Christianity is not about those laws. It's about the spirit of what we're doing. If you don't get the spirit of what we're doing, then you'll be looking for what to dodge. Is there any spirit that says you, can, you can't lick your, your, a girl's ear? Because mm. <laughs> it's, it's not in the Bible. Come on, guys. If you're ready to live a holy life, then do it. If you don't want to live a holy life, then don't, use, don't hide behind Christianity. Go and live with unbelievers the way you want to. If you're copying their lifestyle. But we are called to something else. Separate from this, okay?